Hello and welcome to the mile challenge video about developing perceptual counting strategies. This is designed to be an example video to give you lots of ideas of activities that you can do either yourself or with your grown up at home. Um, a lot of these activities you might recognise from the red seal planner that you use with your teachers, but follow along and we'll see if we can develop your skills in counting. Okay, so for these activities, I'm going to be making use of counters. Um, obviously, I have my own swanky green set here, but you can use any household objects that you choose. They could be grains of rice, lentils, coins, anything realistically that look to be the same and can be counted as part of a collection. The first activity is very, very simple. I'm going to simply place out a number of counters and I will then count them, or your grown-up will ask you to count them. So if I was doing this activity, I would simply point at each counter in turn, make sure I knew how many there were. In this circumstance, there would be one, two, three, four, five. I might then vary the number of counters within the collection each time. One, two, three, and for a final time here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make this even harder, we can bundle the counters into less of a recognisable line so that we can make sure we know which ones we're counting, which ones we're not. So for this one, I have to pay extra attention. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. This next activity, I'm going to use a larger collection of counters. Again, it helps if all of the counters are similar in both colour and size. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it will help us to see it as one overall collective group. And for this next activity, um, your grown-up's just going to ask you, essentially, to pick out a certain number from the group. So they might say, give me five from the group, at which point we'll count out one, two, three, four, five. Or they might give another number. Again, the number's going to tend to be between one and twenty, even though I've got almost thirty counters here. So this time I'm going to say, give me nine from the group, at which point I'll count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At the points it might be even easier to go even faster. If, for instance, I say, give me two from the group, you might progress to the stage where you can simply go two. For this next activity, we've got all of our counters laid out in a line, and for this we've got the lovely Miss Montgomery behind the camera who is going to help me with this. So to start with, I, or your grown up in your case, is going to show you how to count forwards and backwards along the line. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, Miss Montgomery's turn, or your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you're feeling like a real challenge, what you can do is keep on going up and down the line to really test your counting knowledge. For example, I might go one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, and so on. So for example, when I do this for Miss Montgomery, it's going to look a bit like this. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now moving on, our next activity is going to involve two different collections of counters. And again, it will help if they are different in some way. In my case, one is the colour green, the other collection the colour red. Again, this could be any kind of differentiation from different types of coins, different sizes of objects, or the best one would be different colours of counter or anything else. For this activity, your grown-up is simply going to ask you to count the items in each collection and then say how many there are all together. So I can tell I have one, two, three green, one, two red, that's three green, two red, and then I'm going to count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five. And give another example. I'll make my collection slightly bigger. I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to count green first. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five greens. One, two, three, four. Four reds. And now I'm going to count how many there are all together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine all together. Okay, and finally, our last activity is very similar to the one before. This time, however, our items are in rows, okay, but still in two very separate uh, collections, green and red. And your grown up will simply say, here are three green counters and five red counters. How many altogether? And then your job will be to count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight altogether. To use another example, they might say, here are six green counters and four red counters. How many altogether? And your job will be to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all together. That finishes up this counting video. Uh, if you are finding it a bit tricky, keep on practicing. But if you're finding it, yeah, pretty easy, then you can move on to our spicy challenge video, which is all to do with figurative counting. As always, let us know how you're getting on. Thank you.